Hey everybody, Coach BJ Street with Revive Fitness Systems here. Welcome back to the second installment of How to Track Calories for Weight Loss. This is uh, day one of my tracking that I'm going to take you through. If you didn't watch uh, part one, I'm going to put a link to that below in the bio. Uh, in the description, you can take a look at that. It's very long, about 26 minutes. So uh, if you want to spare yourself from that, uh, just a real quick overview. Um, I'm in week five of a fat loss diet, a cut. Um, it's going to last about 12 to 13 weeks, looking to get down to about 200 pounds. Started this process uh, five weeks ago, almost five weeks ago. Uh, five, it'll be five weeks this coming Thursday. Today's Monday. Uh, down about uh, 14 and a half pounds at this point. So pretty rapid fat loss. Uh, I am dieting at about uh, 1,800 to 1,900 calories a day, which is a substantial uh, calorie deficit, uh, right about nine calories per pound of body weight, a little bit under that on some days. Um, so I'm just going to take you through um, four days of my tracking. This is day one, meal one. Uh, I'm going to try to point out, um, you know, any pitfalls and mistakes that you might make or other people might make uh, when they're trying to track a food intake. Okay, and I'm going to take you step by step how I do this, show you all the macros for every meal, and take you through an entire day. Okay, I'll probably do about, I'll probably do four meals today. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. I'll probably do four today. So this is meal one, and this is going to be mostly, mostly protein. Uh, I like, as I said in part one, I like to backload most of my carbohydrates uh, to later in the day, in the evening. It helps my sleep. It raises serotonin levels. Uh, if you didn't watch part one and you don't want to, um, I am not on a strict meal plan um, in terms of eating the same thing every day. I just have macronutrient targets. And really the only thing that I focus on is number one, most importantly, overall calories. We want to stay I want to stay, you know, below about 1900, 1800 to 1900, usually about 1850. That's my primary um, goal. Secondary goal is to get in plenty of protein in a calorie deficit this deep so I can maintain all my lean muscle mass during this long cut. So my protein intake is going to be usually in the range of 230 to 250 grams per day. I'm weighing in right now at about 213 and a half pounds. Okay, so it's over uh, one gram per pound of body weight. And um, in my opinion, and the evidence backs this up, uh, when you're in a steep, long cut like this, your protein needs go up. Okay, so, you know, if, if, you're, if you're approaching one and a quarter grams per pound of body weight, um, as you get deeper into the cut, that's probably where about where you want to be about where you want to be in terms of um, you know protein has an anti hunger effect. It's satiating. It's obviously going to help spare lean muscle mass, uh, and it's also uh, very thermogenic in terms of the thermic effect of feeding. Uh, and your body will uh, have to work pretty hard to break down, digest, absorb, and assimilate protein versus carbohydrate and fat. So that's my rationale. So anyway, I'm going to take you through. Uh, meal one here, really basic stuff. I'm going to do liquid egg whites uh, with some boar's head curry, tur curry turkey breast. That's hard to say. Uh, this is great stuff, by the way. So I'm going to scan a barcode here. And I use the Nutrition IX track app. It's super easy. Uh, it's the best tracking app out there, in my opinion. It has a little barcode scanner. I already have these egg whites inputted as a custom food within this app, but I'm just going to give you an example of how easy this is to track calories. So I'll just bring up the barcode scanner. I'll hit the barcode. It pops up uh, automatically. And uh, it's a 46 gram serving uh, for 25 calories. All right, so I'm going to do four servings of this. Gonna hit return. So I got 100 calories of liquid egg whites. All right, 
um, that's going to come out to be uh, 184 grams. So I'm literally just going to put, I'm gonna turn on, turn on my food scale, all right? Gotta have a food scale. Um, if you're trying to, to uh, lose fat and track your calories, food scales are gonna be your best friend. All right, if you don't have one, you're gonna struggle. So get yourself a $10 food scale off Amazon or at Bed Bath & Beyond or Walmart or whatever. Um, I'm gonna put my skillet right on the food scale. I'm gonna zero it out. Okay, and then I'm just going to add literally 184 grams of liquid egg whites, which would be four servings. I'm gonna finish off this container because it's almost gone. And I'm gonna get, see if I can get 140 grams out of that. Yep, so I got 140 grams out of that. Uh, I got another one open and ready to go. So we're just gonna add uh, 48 grams to this. Okay, so there we go, 184 grams. I'm going to throw on some uh, Jeff Ruby's Steakhouse Steak Seasoning. This stuff's incredible. I put on everything. It's really good in eggs. So I'll sprinkle some of that in there. All right. And then uh, we're going to turn on the burner. Throw that in there. And now I'm going to go to, I'm going to add some turkey breast. Uh, I'll probably eat half of this by hand and I'll throw the other half. Um, in the uh, skillet as my egg whites cook. I've already inputted this turkey breast as a custom food in the Nutrition IX track app. It's already in there. And you'll have to do that. Um, I prefer to just anything I buy, put it in as custom. I'll check the database and see if it's in there. Sometimes it's not fully accurate. So I just always look up the nutrition information either on a label if it's labeled or I'll just go to the website of the company and pull it off there. So I pulled this off. Boar's Head brand curry chicken breast. I'll go to my custom foods, uh, search Boar's Head. So it's a 56 gram serving for 60 calories. Uh, I'm gonna do 112 grams, so just two servings. So I'll hit log this food, change the amount to 112 grams, hit return. The app will calculate all the macros and adjust the calories for you. Log that food. Okay, so to this point, um, I'm at uh, 220 calories and um, about 44 grams of protein. Okay, I usually um, do two 450 to 500 calorie meals, and that'll bring me about 900 calories. And I usually do a 900 to 1,000 calorie meal for dinner. Okay, uh, today it's going to be a little bit adjusted. Um, I won't go that high on the third meal because I want to save some calories for kind of a sweet treat um, as kind of a uh, late, later p.m. snack. Okay, but that's typ typically if it's three meals, I'm going 450 to 500, and then I'm doing like uh, you know um, 800 to 1,000, depending uh, for the for the third meal of the day. I really don't like. Um, multiple small meals, like five, six, seven meals. It just kind of feels like I'm eating a bunch of snacks. Uh, I prefer larger, um, less frequent feeds, but that's just me. So I'm going to throw 112 grams of the turkey breast onto this food scale. We're going to zero it out again. That's 99, a little too much, 121, and like to be precise, 112, all right? And that's actually enough turkey breast just to uh, probably, well, half of it. So I'll just kind of shred this, throw it in the skillet here with the egg whites, spread it around, okay, and we're good to go, all right? That'll take 10 minutes to cook, 
Got my Pampered Chef uh, nonstick skillet. This thing's awesome. It's like 100 bucks, but it's well worth it. Never have anything uh, stick in there, even if it's very lean. Um, I didn't even have to spray. I didn't even have to spray that down with uh, olive oil spray. Um, so uh, the rest of this, I'll eat when I get off of here. I'll spare you uh, watching me eat. Once this little uh, egg white scramble is uh, cooked, I'll throw some cheese on top. Probably at the end, right at the end of cooking. This is um, fat-free cheddar cheese. I have that uh, in my Nutrition IX track, track app as well. These are 30 calories a slice. Um, actually, I had one of these yesterday, so I'll just go back one day uh, and copy and then paste it in uh, to my meal right now. Okay, so that takes me up to 250 calories. Um, and um, right around 50 grams of protein, 49 grams of protein. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of carbohydrate, um, actually probably about 160 grams of, of carb. Um, I just train, so I like to have a little bit of carbohydrate after my workout, not a ton. I don't get too caught up in the peri-workout nutrition stuff um, because I do like to backload my carbohydrates for the evening for better sleep. But... Um, I will grab some sprouted grain bread from Ezekiel. Forgive me, my freezer's not closed. Okay, so I'll add some uh, sprouted green uh, bread from Ezekiel. This will finish off this bag. Okay, these are 80 calories a slice. Throw this in the toaster oven while my egg whites are cooking. You want to keep that stuff frozen if you're going to eat it. Uh, keeps it fresh. So we'll let that toast while the egg whites are cooking. I'll log the sprouted grain bread into my app. I believe I ate this yesterday as well or two days ago. Again, the nice thing about this app is you can just, you can, all your foods are indexed and databased. You can go back and find stuff that you put in and just copy and paste it. Or you can go to your custom foods. If you search, it'll bring up a your foods option. So anything that you've tracked in the last couple weeks will be in there. Um, so I'll just find this. Here we go. It's right here. Sprouted grain bread, two slices. Lunch, log one food. And we're good to go. Bear with me. I'm not doing retakes, so you're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so we're good to go. Uh, so that puts me at um, about 410 calories. That's, that's fine right now. Um, 57 grams of protein uh, and 34 grams of carb. All right, that's enough carb for me right now. Uh, so that's going to be meal one. Again, the, the, you know, if I'm doing three meals a day, it's usually 450 to, four, to 500 uh, for two meals. Like it's 11 o'clock Eastern time. I'll eat now. I'll eat again at 2.30. And then I'll have that bigger feed um, at dinner. Uh, but today, again, I'll probably do a fourth meal, so the dinner will be a little smaller to give me like 300 calories to play with uh, for a treat uh, in, in the evening, okay? So that, uh, that wraps up meal one. Uh, stay tuned for meal two. Uh, I'll be posting all the macros on a screenshot in this video. You'll see that coming up next. Uh, so stay tuned for meal two uh, if uh, you like this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button below, uh, share all that good stuff. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll be back.
Okay, welcome back to meal two. Um, the second meal again is going to be uh, roughly uh, four to 500 calories. Uh, this is one of my go-to meals. I love this uh, mid-afternoon. Again, this is gonna be heavily weighed uh, towards protein. As I said earlier, I like to backload most of my carbohydrates to the evening. So this is kind of a, uh, uh, what I call a protein sludge. We're gonna take uh, Greek yogurt, okay, two containers of this, uh, some protein powder, uh, two scoops, and then some frozen strawberries. We're gonna mix all that together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, pull out my Nutrition IX Track app. I already have all these foods inputted into uh, my app already, but I'm just going to go through and scan a barcode to show you how easy this is. So we'll pull up the barcode scanner. And this uh, True Blend Faye uh, Greek yogurt comes up. It's accurate, 110 calories. I'm doing two containers, so we'll uh, update it to two. Log one food. Okay, that's in. Now we'll take uh, protein powder. Again, I measure this stuff out in grams. Usually on the label, it's going to say about you know one rounded scoop. I don't go by that because you can either shortchange yourself. Uh, and not get enough calories and protein, or you can take a big heaping scoop and it's way too much. So I just prefer to measure it out. So we'll turn the food scale on. I got my bowl set up. We're going to zero it out again. So a serving of, uh, of this is 110 calories. Again, I have this already logged in my app, but again, I'll just use the barcode scanner. Comes right up. Uh, a serving size is 31 grams, so I'm going to go two servings. We'll update this to two. Log that out. And we will throw this in the bowl. When you're making this concoction, put your protein powder in first. Because if you don't, when, when you mix it up, you're going to have protein powder sprayed all over your kitchen, which you don't want. Okay, so that's 25 grams on a level scoop. It's supposed to be 31. This is why I measure it out in grams. That takes us to 48. And we're going to go to 62. I'm one shy. Okay, that takes it to 62 grams. Wipe my hands off. I use frozen produce mostly, fruits and vegetables. Um, otherwise, as I'm sure you know, if you buy a lot of fresh produce, it tends to go bad fast. So I just do the frozen. Um, I thaw these out for a couple minutes before using them because reason being is um, if I put froze, you know, frozen fruit on a food scale and go by the serving size in grams, because it's frozen, it's going to weigh out heavier. Uh, and then I'm going to be shortchanged on my calories, which I don't, which I don't want because I'm in a calorie deficit. I want to, you know, get my hands on all the calories coming to me. So I thaw them out for a couple minutes, uh, before putting them in. So here they are. Um, this is a, uh, 140 gram serving. For 50 calories. I have no idea what's in here. I just put an arbitrary amount of fruit. It's usually about a cup or so. Um, I'll scan the barcode. Okay, so I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to change this to grams. It comes up in the app as cups. I'm going to move it to grams. Uh, and then I'm going to put this in here and see how many grams are actually in the, in the uh, measuring cup. Okay, so I got 158 grams. I'm just gonna update this in the app to 158, log it, uh, and it comes out 
perfectly. So this meal right here is, you know, I wanted it between four and 500 calories. I'm right at 496 calories. Uh, I get 74 grams of protein out of this, massive. Um, over eight grams of fiber, which is huge. I should have mentioned before, I pay attention to fiber because uh, the research has shown that fiber and protein um, leads to better fat loss. So I try to keep my fiber 25 grams per day. You know, I don't go crazy with tracking it, but I, I'm aware of it. Um, so 37 grams of protein, 8.3 of which are fiber, 74 grams of protein, 7 grams of fat, 496 calories. This is how you optimize food volume, guys. Um, this will keep me full for a couple hours, and then I'll go into dinner uh, and have a slightly larger meal. And then, as I noted, I'll have a little treat, um, a high-protein uh, cereal concoction at the end of the day, and I'll be sitting right where I need to be. So, again, always using a food scale, always measuring things out. Um, the Greek yogurt, I, I don't measure that out in grams. Um, I just go by what the container says. So I'll throw this in at the end after my protein powder and strawberries are already in there. You can also, you can use any fruit. I, I usually alternate between strawberries, mango, or watermelon. You get a lot of volume for the calories. Um, you can't go wrong with those in terms of keeping you full. Um, and extracting, you know, very few calories out of a larger food volume. So those are kind of my preferred sources. So I'll just throw this in here. I try to get as much as I can out of here. Again, I'm trying to get all the calories that are coming to me. Okay, same thing. Open this one up. And we'll finish it off. And then I'll show you a picture of what this looks like. It's delicious. It's so good. Um, and I'll also give you the, uh, as I did with the first meal, I'll give you the macro breakdown and the amounts. Keep in mind, this is appropriate for me and my needs. Probably not for you. Uh, if you're a 130, 150 pound female, your protein and calorie needs for fat loss are going to be much smaller than mine are. So again, multiply your body weight, as I said in, the, in part one of this series in the introduction, fat loss calories are going to be about 10 to 12 calories per pound. Uh, you can start on the high end, see how you respond. So if you're a 150 pound female watching this or whatever you are, multiply your body weight times 12, start there, and then you want about a gram, a gram a quarter uh, of protein per pound. So 150 pound female, maybe start at 1800 calories, um, protein in the 150 to 165, 170 gram range, and you're good to go. So you're going to have to adjust the amounts uh, of what I'm showing you here if you, if you choose to eat these meals. Again, there's no right or wrong meal. I'm just giving you basic principles, but keep that in mind. So I'll stir this all up, take a picture of it, show you what it looks like. It's delicious. So that's meal two. And I'm now sitting at, for the day, slightly over 900 calories, um, 131 grams of protein, 71 grams of carb, 10 grams of fat. Uh, again, looking to keep it at 18 to 1900, probably 1900 today, because uh, I dropped a lot of weight over the weekend. Um, and I'm going to save, you know, at least 50 grams of carbs. I'll show you how I do that um, for that late uh high protein cereal treat at the end of the day. Okay, we'll be back soon, thanks. Okay, welcome back to meal three. Uh, this is dinner. Um, we're going to do some fish, uh, cod, cauliflower, rice, a little bit of oil, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. We're going to keep it simple. So I got some uh, cod I've thawed out, and 
I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the food scale. Always, I do this anyway, I think it's easier. Always weigh your uh, meat, fish, and poultry in raw, in raw servings, okay, in raw amounts. Um, understand that when you read food labels on meat, fish, and poultry, it's a raw measure. In fact, it's, it's a raw measure for anything on a food label, okay? Rice, potatoes, whatever. So I just, I th I just think it's easier to, to keep it uniform and simple. I do raw measures, okay? Um, so we're going to throw this on here. And I got 374 grams of fish. I have this particular brand of cod in my Nutrition IX Track app already. Um, so I'm just going to do, um, bring it up, search for it. Here it is, shows up immediately. Uh, I'll adjust the amount. Perfect. Okay, so uh, I got uh, about 265 calories with the cod. All right, uh, I'll put some uh, fish magic seasoning on it. I use a variety of seasonings. There's no calories in this stuff, so I just coat it how I want it um, pretty heavily. So we'll do that. We'll season it up, throw it in the air fryer. I usually always air fry our fish. Uh, I just like the, uh, the crispiness of it. It takes about 10, 11 minutes. Uh, it comes out really good. All right, so that's that. Uh, next, going to keep the carbs pretty low at dinner because I'm going to load up on carbs, carbs at least load up uh, for me with, with what I'm doing uh, and my parameters. Um, I'm going to load up on carbs in this fourth kind of treat meal that we'll, uh, we'll show you later. But we'll do this uh, cauliflower rice, this stuff. Um, it, it's okay. You know, it doesn't taste wonderful, but it's, it's, you know, it's palatable enough. Um, this entire thing is 35 calories. Okay. You get a nice hit of fiber, uh, five grams of fiber in this. So, uh, I have this already in, uh, my nutrition IX track app, but, uh, I'll just scan the barcode and it pops right up. Okay. So we got 35 calories there. Um, I'll microwave this in a bowl for like a minute and a half. Um, I don't weigh this out in grams. I just trust the package, probably not the best idea. It's probably a little bit off, but it's close enough. It's a minuscule amount of calories, right? Um, I will add uh, one serving, 15 grams, tablespoon of this garlic express and dressing. You've probably noticed to this point, I don't go out of my way to eat dietary fat, okay? But you do need some, um, it, it, it has benefits uh, hormonally. Um, so I, I try to get at least one serving of pure fat per day. So I usually go to like oil-based dressings for that. It could be butter. You've got to be careful with this stuff. You need, you need to measure it out because if you just pour it on there, you try to estimate uh, tablespoons, you're going to go way over your calories and this stuff is calorically dense. All right. So I, I make sure that I, I measure it out in grams. I'll just uh, put that over the top of my rice uh, on my food scale, the rice in the bowl when I'm finished and that's that. So that'll be uh, this is pretty low calorie for an oil-based dressing. It's 55 calories, and it just it'll give that cauliflower rice just a little bit of uh, texture and, and, and a little bit of, of an oily taste, which is which is good. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's pretty much the uh, third meal, uh, and then uh, we'll come back um, for the fourth meal later on tonight, and this will be more of the uh, sweet treat type of thing. It's a cereal-based. Um, protein. I'll throw a Quest bar in there and that'll put me right uh, at my caloric intake for the day. All right, so stay tuned. Thanks. Okay, welcome back to the fourth and final meal of the day. This is the one that I've been looking forward to. This is kind of a treat meal. Uh, still very, very good macros, um, but uh, definitely uh, if you have a sweet tooth, you can you can pull something like this off uh, 
with a flexible dieting situation like I'm in. Uh, I don't do this um, every day. Like I said earlier in the uh, in the video, I typically will do three meals a day, um, two a little bit smaller on the four or five hundred calorie range, and have a big one of about nine hundred or a thousand for the third meal. But I've compensated earlier in the day, so I have enough calories left over for this fourth feed. Uh, and like I said, I like to have uh, a good hit of carbohydrates in the evening. It helps me to sleep. Okay, this is delicious. We're going to make a um, peanut butter, chocolate, frosted mini wheat, high protein cereal. Uh, this is delicious. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to take uh, 60 grams, I'm sorry, 56 grams of these chocolate uh, little bite frosted mini wheats. Uh, these are so friggin good, but also really good macros. Um, for a serving that's 200 calories, 6 grams of fiber, which is a lot. Uh, I talked about fiber earlier, uh, you know, research has shown that um, higher fiber, higher protein diets are uh, exceptional for fat loss. So I definitely keep an eye on fiber. Um, five grams of protein uh, and only two grams of fat. So um, I'll do 60 grams and I'll pull out my track app again. Got to find the barcode. It's here somewhere. There it is. So we'll just scan it and it pops right up. Okay. So we got a uh, 200 calorie serving of these. Throw it on the food scale. And we'll go 56 grams. On the button, so you can see that's how big. How bad you say that's not a lot of cereal. So you can see how most people eat cereal. They usually have like three or four servings of cereal, uh, and they wonder why they're having a problem uh, losing weight. Um, so this is a very small serving of cereal, but uh, it goes down really, really well, especially when you're in a deficit um, and you're craving something a little bit sweet. So we do that. And I'll zero it out. Now I'll make this um, milk concoction. So I do this silk creamy cashew milk. It's 25 calories for a cup. Really low calories. Uh, I will also scan this on my app. Okay. Boop. Comes right up. All right. It's logged in there. So I got my shaker bottle. There's an uh, eight ounce marker on this. Go with that. All right, cup, transfer that to the food scale. And then we're going to do uh, one serving of the whey protein again. So this is my third scoop of this today. This is not normal. I, I usually will do a scoop or, or two at the most. This is kind of an exception, but um, this is 31 grams. Almost there. Okay, so 31 grams, and then we uh, top that off. We do this uh, peanut uh, powdered peanut butter PB2, good stuff. Uh, 13 grams for 60 calories. I'm gonna log this in as well. I already had the protein powder logged into my database and Nutrition IX track, uh, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that over real quick. Okay, I got the protein powder uh, log. Now we'll scan this barcode. Boom. And we are good to go. So I'll add this, uh, 13 grams. Zero out the food scale. So you basically end up with a kind of a peanut butter milk concoction for your chocolate frosted mini wheats and it's delicious. Thirteen. Put the lid on 
gallon shaker bottle. Sorry for the upcoming noise. But we shake this up. Okay, it's probably pretty good. And we just pour this over the, the uh, pre-measured out mini wheats. Delicious. Okay, so that's my sweet treat, and then we'll top it off with um, these are out of the ordinary for me too. I don't do a lot of protein bars, but today I, for whatever reason, was craving one of these things. So we'll do a Quest bar. Um, these are very popular, Quest Bars, One Bars, they're probably my favorite. Uh, the sugar alcohols in these sometimes can upset people's stomach. I don't have a problem with it, some people do. One thing I wanna point out here, these are said to be 180 calories. Um, you know, I'll scan it on the barcode scanner to log it in, but, so we're logged in. Um, you gotta be careful with this. This really isn't 180 calories if you break down by the macros. What they do here is do net carbs, which is kind of a uh, um, a bit misleading because what they're saying is, is that the carbs and fiber uh, and the sugar alcohols don't count. That's actually untrue. Fiber does still have calories in it. Um, not four calories per gram like normal carbohydrates, but it does have about a calorie and a half uh, per gram. So I, I, I tend to, I'm not going to do it tonight because I got, I, I, I'm in a big calorie deficit today, but I usually just go by, I don't do the net carbs. I just look at the total carbohydrates, the total fat grams and the total protein grams and add it up. So I did it for this, um, just in my head before I got on video, it says this is 180 calories. Um, if you go by the actual macros and add it up, it actually comes out to about 230, 235 calories. Okay. It's actually probably, if we, if we look at fiber, it's probably going to come in closer to 200 calories for this bar. But, you know, I, I'm, I, I got, you know, I, I got the calories left. Today was a heavy training day. I did cardio and strength, so I'm not going to, you know, mince hairs over 20 calories. But if you're eating a lot of these net carb foods, it's something to be aware of, okay, because they can be a little bit deceiving. So um, that's my sweet treat. Uh, I want to eat this before it gets soggy. But, uh, so I'm, I'm at, that's it. I'm done for the day. All right. This, this is fat loss, right? You, you got to cut yourself off when you get to the limit. I came in, uh, about 1,835 calories for the day, 247 grams of protein, 157 grams of carb. That carb intake is a little bit higher than what I normally do. I'm usually closer to like 120, but no big deal. Um, because it, calories are king. Uh, I stayed at or under my limit and uh, protein to my secondary consideration. Uh, came in nice and high at 247, okay? Well above my body weight at uh, 213 and a half. And um, I ended up with 40 grams of fiber, which is, you know, I try to hit 25 grams. That little quest bar right there put me way up. So um, I'm, I'm actually full right now from the prior meal, but I'm gonna eat this anyway. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm at, I'm at nine calories per pound um, body weight on calories and, um, that's an extreme deficit and I really don't feel the least bit hungry. And I've been doing this for five weeks. I probably had one or two days where the hunger is really intense, but, uh, for the most part, if you know how to optimize your food volume, keep protein high, uh, fiber high, um, and strategize a little bit, this is totally doable. So, uh, that's it. I'll put the macros up, uh, I'll put the entire day's macros up. And this concludes uh, day one. We'll be back uh, next time with day two. I'll incorporate, um, you know, a lot of other foods, different foods, and uh, point out some more pitfalls and potential mistakes that you might be making. Thanks for tuning in.